who he is in this room and who, who he is on this team and anyone outside of here, I, I mean, it's not really taken too too seriously. Well, it might be a no because you just said you stay off the internet, but like, <laughs> ha have you ever seen the Dan Campbell stuff, biting kneecaps, he drinks like a ridiculous amount of coffee, like, are you familiar with sort of his style? A little bit, right? Like, he's an ex-player and that just sort of comes with uh, territory, I think, a little bit, um, especially when he was playing. I mean, he, he definitely played in a different era of football, so. What kind of difference do you see in a coach who also was a player versus maybe a guy that didn't play? Um, really, it's just the lens that he looks through. Um, guys who have played, I mean, I've, 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 I've had it both ways. I've had player coaches and I've had coaches that really haven't played past high school or college. And really, it just comes down to the lens that they have and just kind of how they see football. Um, there's a lot of coaches that see it as a business, a lot of coaches that see it as uh, X's and O's and that sort of thing on paper. And there's also a lot of coaches that have that uh, emotional side as well that you know players have. So it is, it is kind of nice to have a balance of both. Juwan Jennings blocked a Green Bay Packer into the, into the Gatorade. Buckets. Yeah, I, saw yeah that. I mean, like, what's yeah. that like as a lineman? Like, do you feel like he's kind of like one of us? And that's, I mean, all these wide receivers block, but Jawan really yeah. gets after it. No, I mean, every single receiver on this team blocks. They, if they don't, they're not on the team. <laughs> so, um, you know, we really take pride in that on this offense. Every single person has to do their job. If that's a, you know, digging out a safety in the C or D gap, then that's what they got to do. Um, and Jawan embodies that mentality. That's awesome to see. How much fun is it to block for Christian McCaffrey? Because he, Give him a little bit, he can go. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've said this probably a hundred times now. He's arguably the best scat back in the league. He's so versatile, um, and he's just such a weapon on different fronts where you know you can really do whatever you want with the guy. So um, having him on your side of the ball is sweet. What I learned about Brock Purdy makes your job easier. Um, really, his just his decisiveness, right? The fact that he's so assertive in the in uh, the huddle. He commands our attention. I mean, he just does a great job of getting ev everyone on, you know, the right page and uh, make sure that we're doing the right things. Um, you know, I feel like his execution too has been great. Is it pretty remarkable for a 24-year-old to be doing that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you really don't see young guys doing that, especially guys that aren't drafted in the first round or second round or whatever. But you know, I feel like he's done a really great job of just, um, you know, doing his part. Do you recall him, um, sorry, do you recall uh, Trent speaking up um, before that final drive and, and saying, now's the time, we've got to score here? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we all knew exactly what the deal was. Um, our, our offense was kind of hot and cold a little bit throughout the entire game, and we knew that we just had to handle business. We had to eat a lot of the clock up, and we had to get first downs. Um, and that's what we did. We went out there and got, you know, you know, the crucial, consistent offensive play that we, you know, that we've been seeing from this offense for the whole season. And we just had to go out there and make sure we had one more score. Is that unusual for him to, to speak? I mean, how, how often does that happen that one guy sort of talks to the huddle? No, I mean, he speaks when he needs to speak. You know, he's a, you know, he's a vocal leader. He's also a very physical leader. He leads by example every single day, but he also you know, when we need or when he thinks we need to hear something, he'll definitely say something. I noticed on the last one. posted that mic'd up of, of the game, and, and you were very vocal before the game uh, in firing up the offensive lineup. Is that something that, that you've kind of embraced a, a little bit more of a vocal leadership role before games? So we don't normally have access to, to that, so it's the first time I saw that. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Um, you know, ever since I signed this contract, I, I feel like I have a little bit more own, ownership on the, at, you know, at least the offensive side of the ball. Um, and yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, it's not really an emotional game for me. It's more of just a, hey, you need to get your job done. But at the same time, I feel like there is something to be said before a game and to your guys, because it is a team effort, especially an offensive line, making sure that, you know, we all know exactly what we're doing on that day. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Good luck.